Okay, so uh, a very good morning to all of you. So you all have mentioned that you can hear me. That's great. Uh, since I'm having a little bit of network trouble today, I'm not going to be able to turn on the video. So, uh, right. So the good news is uh, we have gradually reached the end of the semester, no? So uh, we have to start the last chapter today, chapter number nine, customer relationship management. Api last uh, chapter ke tamai other uh, in me, right? So uh, this was made available to you on LMS last night. I hope you all have downloaded it as well. Right. So let's see basically what are the learning outcomes we hope to achieve in this particular chapter, right? Um, so we are going to first outline different methods of acquiring customers via electronic media. When it comes to electronic media, uh, other than traditional media, there are many new methods of how you can acquire customers, right? How you can acquire customers. So we are going to see how using uh, electronic media, you can acquire customers likewise. Then evaluate different buyer behavior amongst online customers. Online customers, among online customers, uh, there are different buying behaviors than when compared with traditional media, than when compared with traditional media. So we are going to look at what those different methods are, right? Different behaviors are. Um, then we are going to describe techniques for retaining customers and cross and upselling using new media. So when using new media, there are different techniques for retaining customers via using cross-selling and upselling initiatives, right? Cross-selling and upselling initiatives. So we are going to look at what those are. Right, me cross selling, upselling, or the initiatives, you know, up customers love retain karaganda without karana techniques. Me, right? So, up it balana, coma the alut media use kaleva karan. Right, so first things first, let's look at the introduction. The application of technology to achieve customer relationship management is a key element of e-business. That is pretty basic, no? no? So uh, uh, when it comes to uh, e-business, right? Now, uh, or we refer to it as digital business, right? So um, usage of technology in order to achieve certain goals in customer relationship management becomes a primary concern in e-business, right? So building a relationship specially uh, with a customer that you can't see most of the time, sometimes, right? Uh, and uh, building a good rapport with them and sustaining customers in that way. In a digital context, it becomes very important. Digital business, it customer interaction with the technology customer relationship connection e business context Then building long-term relationships with customers is essential for any sustainable business. That is also true, right? For any business to sustain, any business to uh, be successful in the long run, right? For any business to sustain, they have to have good connection, good long-term connections with their customers, right? On the long-term, we have a relationship among the customers that they have to be able business sustainable with them. Why is that? Because they are the main revenue generation source, right? Up to revenue generation when a main source of customers, it got a lot of long term relationship pick up the other Nokia customers. La now the now the pay via parade family in Nokia. Now the now the via parade customers la family in Nokia. Repeat purchases. Repeat purchases means uh, our revenue base is broadened or increased, right? Um, then, 
failure to build relationships contributed to the failures of many dot coms following huge expenditure on customer acquisition now uh, even though a business might be successful in implementing technology that alone does not guarantee that the business can sustain in the long run why api then technology ekak godakma hondata pavichchi karala sophisticated taakshanayan bhavitha karala high tech applications pavichchi karala api yam kisi api hitamuko ව්‍යාපාරයක් පවත්වාගෙන ගියා ඒක සක්සස්ෆුල් වෙන්නේ නැහැ ඒ ව්‍යාපාරයට බැරි නම් හොඳ රිලේෂන්ෂිප් එකක් ඇති කරගන්න තමන්ගේ කස්ටමර්ස් ලත් එක්ක රයිට් සෝ දැට් ඊස් බිකොස් රයිට් නව් ජස්ට් ලයික් දිස් පොයින්ට් එක්ස්ප්ලේන්ස් ෆේලියර් ටු බිල්ඩ් රිලේෂන්ෂිප්ස් කන්ට්‍රිබියුටඩ් ටු ද ෆේලියර්ස් ඔෆ් මැනි ඩොට් කොම්ස් right many dot coms following huge expenditure on customer acquisition so if there are no uh, good relationships with the customers then that means you have to spend a lot of money on acquiring customers now what do you think is the cheaper option is it acquiring customers or is it uh, you know retaining the customers customer va retain karala customer va maintain karagena yana ekada less expense එකක් යන එක එහෙම නැත්නම් customer ව acquire කරන එකට ද less expense එකක් යන. What do you think? Retaining the customer or initially acquiring a new customer? අලුතෙන්ම customer කෙනෙක් අපි acquire කරගන්න එකද? Customer ව retain කරගන්න එකද ඔයාලා හිතන විදිහට less expensive option එක? What's your idea? What's your idea? Customer can acquire karagan nekada, retain karagan nekada. So you have to answer me, huh? otherwise this lecture is not going to be successful. Otherwise I also can go on talking and talking without, uh, if you are not interested to interact with me, then I also will be not interested to... tell you more of what i know i can also go on just talking so therefore you will have to answer me otherwise i will just move on and say the entire thing and uh, i can finish the lecture so no idea anyone no response can you hear me yes so retaining them is less 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 expensive ne api customer kenek retain karaganna apita daranna wena piriwaya adui ai customer kenek aluthen acquire karanna api dannathi customer kenek we don't know what their preferences are we don't know what their demographic background is like we don't know the platforms they use we don't know uh, you know what sort of income level they have right we don't know other purchase preferences with uh, competitors that they have so in order to understand all that and in order to put out marketing effort to initially gain the attraction of a customer is very expensive therefore it's very important that you sustain the relationship with uh, the existing customers right the importance of customer retention to long term profitability therefore is well known right so therefore like i told you retaining means returning customers repeat purchases increased revenue they are for increased profitability research shows that acquiring online customers is so expensive 20 to 30% higher than for traditional business 
that startup companies may remain unprofitable for at least two to three years. Now, online customers uh, acquisition is very much higher than for traditional businesses according to research, right? And due to that reason, it is uh, mentioned here that sometimes companies may even remain unprofitable for several years after they start up initially. That's, that might be true, no? Even by just sense, we can think that, on, like I told you earlier, uh, when you are acquiring an online customer, you are addressing to a person that you cannot see. You can't see them. They can't see you, no? So physical store, relationship, rapport, confidence, credibility, online platform, customer could be expensive and also in some industries a reason could be that due to the competition that is there due to the growing competition that is there so acquiring a new customer in certain industry might be in the online platform very difficult therefore because there are a lot of options sometimes to serve the customers right so moving on the research also shows that by retaining just five percent more customers online companies can boost their profits by 25% to 95%. Even though it is more expensive for online businesses to acquire customers than when compared with traditional businesses, if online businesses have the ability of just retaining more 5% of their customers, 5% customers are ready for the right? Companies will return profits online context right right so then we are moving on to um four marketing activities of crm four marketing activities of crm right uh, then api me marketing saha customer relationship management kiyanne godak uh, ekata relationship ekak tiyana fields deka practically business context ekata enagota when it comes to the business context this customer relationship management and marketing right these are very much uh, entwined or they are very much uh, functioning together in most contexts right um, now in most companies crm is a part that is coming under the marketing division, right? Customer relationship management. Sometimes it could be attributable to uh, different divisions, but uh, in, in this particular context, we are going to look at what are the key marketing related activities that are involved in CRM. Customer relationship management take a the winner main marketing activities first one is customer selection selecting the customer that means defining the type of customers that the company will market to right api customer mulinma define kara gannawa meyawa tam meyata tamai api serve karanne meyata tamai api market karanne kiyana eka anduna ganima tama mulinma siddha wen right so what happens here? It means identifying different groups of customers for which to develop offerings and to target during uh, customer acquisition, retention, and extension. company product offerings, service offerings. Develop karanda puluang vena vidihe customer groups anduna ganima kianaka make atulatina eva game target karane target karane kavad kianaka may make customer groups willing up a target market take up the target karane one of customer groups the kianaka anduna ganima make atulatina eva game retention 
සහ එක්ස්ටෙන්ෂන් කස්ටමර්ව පවත්වා ගැනීම සහ කස්ටමර්ව දිගින් දිගටම බිස්නස් එකත් එක්ක තියා ගැනීම කියන මේ ස්ටේජස් ඔක්කොගේදී රයිට් මොන විදිහටද මොන කස්ටමර්ස් ලටද අපි සර්ව් කරන්නේ කියන එක මේක ඇතුලේදී කතා වෙනවා රයිට් ඇක්විසිෂන් රිටෙන්ෂන් එක්ස්ටෙන්ෂන් කියන මේ ස්ටේජස් තුනේදීම මොන කස්ටමර්ස් ලාවද අපි මොන කස්ටමර්ස් ලා වෙනුවෙන්ද ප්‍රොඩක්ට් ඇන්ඩ් සර්විස් ඔෆරින්ග්ස් දෙන්නේ සහ මොන කස්ටමර්ස් ලාද ටාගට් කරන්න කියන එක තමයි මේක ඇතුලේ කතා වෙන්නේ රයිට් සෝ විච් කස්ටමර්ස් ටු ඩෙවලොප් ඔෆරින්ග්ස් ඇන්ඩ් ටු ටාගට් ඩියුරින් ද 3 ස්ටේජස් ඔෆ් ඇක්විසිෂන් රිටෙන්ෂන් ඇන්ඩ් extension right now the market is a mass market no right market එක අපි කියනවා mass market mass market එකට serve කරන එක අමාරු වෙන business එක කරන්නේ mass market එකට කේට කිරීම අපහසුයි so what they do therefore initially is they select a group of customers that they can most profitably serve most profitably serve කරන්න පුළුවන් segment එකක් හඳුන ගන්නවා right so මෙතන තමයි customer selection එක සිද්ධ වෙන්නේ right different groups of customers that the, they can develop offerings and target so then different ways of segmenting customers by value and by their detailed life cycle with the customer are viewed now also in addition to that in addition to that in this stage we look at what are the different ways to segmenting the customer different ways to segmenting the customers based on their value based on the customer value that they bring to the business and also customers life cycle customer life cycle what do you mean by customer uh, life cycle or what do you mean by customer value customer value customer lifetime value kiyalat samara velawata api anduna gannawa concept ekak customer lifetime value is the it's the total value or the total worthiness that the customer can bring to the business uh, throughout their entire relationship with the business right now here customer value means uh, in a similar way what is the value or what is the worth that a customer can uh, bring to the business and also customer life cycle customer life cycle can be customer life cycle means um actually it's something like this now uh, a customer we assume not assume actually uh, any customer goes through a sequence of stages uh, or a journey along their relationship with any product or a brand or a company right so all these stages combine together this customer journey starting from reaching out to customer acquiring the customer conversion of customers retention building loyalty so this entire journey we call it as the customer life cycle right so uh, from being a prospect until a customer becomes a loyal customer of ours then uh, also once they become a positive advocate to our business we call it a customer life cycle right so we look at different ways how we can group or segment this customer based on their value or based on their detailed life cycle na life cycle ekka thawa godak detailed stages walata apita kadanna puluwa right on owa mata padanam vela kohomada customer segment karanne kiyala api me selection process ekedi balana from an e business perspective we may want to selectively target customers who have adopted e channels i think online business ekak nang ogolan karanne ehena selectively targeting customers who have adopted e channels or digital channels would be a good idea right rather than going for purely traditional based customers it's good to focus on um customers based on e channels or digital channels then we come to the second marketing activity that is customer acquisition what happens in customer acquisition this refers to marketing activities intended to win new customers while minimizing acquisition cost and 
targeting high value customers ah meten di mokadda inna api dan customers lava select karala inne right customer groups api select karala inne dan ilangata api balanawa apita mona wage marketing activities da karanna puluwan alut customers lava win karanna alut customers lava vyapareta adda ganna while minimizing acquisition cost and targeting high value customers මේක කරද්දී අපි උත්සාහ කරනවා පුළුවන් තරම් අපේ acquisition cost එක minimize කරන්න සහ high value customers ලව attract කරගන්න. right in customer acquisition we look at two goals minimizing acquisition cost and targeting high value customers in order to achieve higher profitability service quality and selecting the right channels for different customers are important so in this particular context right in this particular context it's important to focus on the service quality that we give to the customers right api mokadda customers lata dena service quality ekak kiyana ekak gana focus kirima ithama wedagat wenawa me acquisition stage ekedi mokada eka harima crucial deya api customer alut customer kenekwa addawa gannawada kiyana ekak sambandhi dan oyalu unath samara wita සමහර shops වලට ගිහිල්ලා ඇත්තේ එලියට එන්නේ අපෝ ආයනම් මම මේ කඩේට යන්නේ නැහැ ආයනම් ඒ එතෙන්ට නම් යන්න එපා කියලා දන්න කෙනෙක්ටත් කියලා නේ මම දැක්කා facebook එකෙත් අර meme එකක් share වෙනවා සමහර කඩ කඩ වලට ගියාම මුදලාලි customer දිහා බලන්නේ ඇයි ආවේ මොනවා ගන්නද වගේ නිකන් එහෙම look එකක් දාලා customer දිහා බලන්න අපි තරහට බඩු අරන් යන්න ආවා වගේ කියලා එහෙම meme එකක් දාලා තියෙනවා මම දැක්කා so that is the case in sometimes right in the physical context so when it comes to the e business context also it becomes even more important why then ogolan dakalati samara welawata ona samara facebook pages tiyenawa samara shops tiyenawa online so they are uh, they are saying that uh, quick responses ehema dala tiyena facebook page eke dala tiyena quick responses to customer queries 24/7 customer support onno ma dala tiyena but once you ask a question they are very reluctant to provide the information for the question you ask right sometimes they are not very courteous right they are not very uh, polite in the way they talk right um sometimes they they answer you in an offensive way right it has happened to even me so when you have such experience you won't feel encouraged to revisit that kind of online shop right now let alone uh, now uh, forget the customer experience part you are anyway buying from a person that you can't see and a product that you can't physically interact with right let's say you are ordering something online in such a scenario if the business is reluctant to provide you sufficient information about your product queries will you feel confident enough to revisit that shop and keep buying from them no right so therefore service quality is very important customer service quality very important and also selecting the right channels for different customers are also important very important right now in the digital context then digital context එක ගත්තම වර්තමානයේ වෙද්දී අපිට products sell කරන්න products promote කරන්න පුළුවන් platforms ගණනාවක් තියෙනවා there are multiple platforms that we can use to sell and market products right but every platform is not suitable for every type of customer now suppose there are company websites there is facebook if we take social media there is facebook there is instagram there is uh, twitter there is uh, sometimes even linkedin people use uh, but not that much even tiktok is becoming a very popular platform right so from these platforms you have to decide what are the right channels to reach out to your customers right then hammer then oala muling customers lava select karanawane right then oya customer segment ekak athule right api thume insurance product ekak kiyala bank ekak right bank product ekak api hitamu onna oala ge target market ekak let's say 40 to 60 aged customers kela wala select karanne e gola then e wage customer group ekakata is it right to reach them out through tiktok or is it right to promote or reach out to them through instagram 
No, right? So these kinds of customers, they are more familiar with uh, visiting a website or maybe, uh, you know, um, sometimes they are having Facebook accounts, right? Sometimes they are engaging with you through Facebook. So likewise, selecting the right channel to engage with your di different customers is very, very important when it comes to an online business context because all platforms are not appealing to all types of customers, right? Then the third marketing activity under customer relationship management, it is customer retention, customer retention. What happens customer retention? refers to marketing activities taken by an organization to keep its existing customers. Then apita in the existing then api customers are select karla in ne customers love acquire karla in ne then in the customers love over the tiaga how to keep the existing customers right so all the marketing activities that that the companies do in order to do this we call them customer retention identifying relevant offerings based on their individual needs and detailed position in the customer life cycle. Example, number of value purchases. It becomes key or it becomes important, the most important. So when it comes to customer retention, it says identifying the right offering, right product offering customers retention right identifying the right offering that's true no then up marketing activities up product price place promotion physical evidences people or no if there are marketing mix okay marketing activities marketing mix customers then reach out customer retention talking elements when customer retention right may be a part of that is identifying the right product offering that means the right value proposition that you should give to the customer right apo a select karana customer group ekata api denne hari product offering ekata udaharana ekata bank ekak na bank product ekak let's say the customer segment you have selected is the youth right ena youth ekata hari ena product offering ekak kiyala denno ne ne maybe it's a mobile application for easy banking right maybe it's a application where they can interact with the peers and also uh, engage in quick transactions because now the young generation it is no they are known to be very quick be very quick in interacting with the customers uh, sorry in interacting with technology and also it's very uh, very difficult to keep them interested for a long time because they are very much engaging with the technology technology keeps changing Therefore, uh, you have to be innovative in the product offerings that you bring to the youth, right? So you have to be as uh, innovative as possible in your product offerings, right? So individual need dekata apita meva customize karan puluang avasta tiena vinda puluang, right? Maybe even through the website, if someone is shopping with you, uh, based on the individual need, maybe you're recommending products to them. Maybe based on the past uh, purchase behavior, maybe you are uh, considering their individual need in uh, offering product suggestions to them, in uh, offering product offer in in uh, giving product offerings to them, right? So that is very important. And also, you have to consider the detailed position in the customer life cycle. Detailed position in the customer life cycle. For example. Uh, Maybe uh, based on the number of uh, number of value of purchases that they have done, right? Uh, it will give you an indication of uh, whether it's a uh, you know high end or let's say premium customer that you are, you know the top level customer that you have who keeps repeat repeat visit uh, keeps uh, repeatedly visiting your business. Uh, or maybe the value of their purchases is very high, right? Or maybe they are at the loyalty stage in the life cycle. So you consider these kinds of things when initiating your marketing efforts, right? For example, all these efforts to, you know, uh, provide them discounts, provide them special offerings, right? 
all these things are coming as a part of these retention techniques to keep the existing customers, right? Then comes the final part of that is the final marketing activity under CRM, customer extension. What happens here refers to increasing the depth or range of products that a customer purchases from a company, right? This refers to customer extension increasing the depth or range of products that a customer purchases from a company, right? Uh, products purchase karana products will range a pulul karana venda puluva. Right? Different types of products uh, purchase encourage high value purchases encourage Right? So this is also referred to as customer development most of the cases. Right? Also referred to as in that way. So this diagram shows the marketing activities, four marketing activities, which we have discussed up to now. Four classic marketing activities of customer relationship management are customer selection, customer acquisition, customer retention, and customer extension. Under customer selection, what do we consider? Customer selection, consider who do we target? What is their value? I told you what is the customer value. And we consider what is their life cycle in the customer journey, in the customer life cycle, in which stage are they? Or what kind of life cycle do they have? Then we also consider where do we reach them? Where is the best place to reach out to them? Right? What is the best platform? Then um, customer acquisition, targeting the right segments from the segments that we have identified. Now, most profitably serve Karanapul on target copy Then we are trying to, we have uh, two goals here. One, to minimize our acquisition cost. Also to capture high value customers. I hope you remember in the previous slide, we talked about it. And also it is very important to optimize the service quality that we provide to the customers and using the right channels to reach out to them. Then customer retention, we talked about it. We understand the individual needs of customers, right? Individual needs of customers and relevant offers for continued usage of online services in order for them to continue using our online services what are the product offerings that we can give to these customers based on their individual needs? Based on their individual needs. Once again, maximizing service quality becomes a key part here and using the right channels. Customer extension. Here, we try to sense and respond to the customer. What is the customer's buying behavior? We are sensing that buying behavior. We are sensing the background of the customer. We are sensing the life cycle and the, of the customer. And based on that behavior, we try to respond to the customer. We try to respond to the customer. We try to encourage them to make a new purchase with us, make additional purchases with us, make high value purchases with us. We try to uh, bring them back to the business if they have left the business. Likewise, we sense the customer, where the customer is, what is the current behavior, how are they currently engaging with the business, in what stage of the life cycle they are. We sense them first, right? After sensing the customer, we try to respond appropriately. Then uh, some techniques that we can use for customer extension are cross-selling and upselling. We are going to discuss these things in detail in the forthcoming slide. And also, here also we focus on optimizing the service quality and using the right channel. So if you observe carefully in acquisition, retention, extension, all these stages, you see service quality and right channels, service quality, right channel, service quality, right channels, very, very important, right? Very, very important. Right. So 
um, now I told you in customer extension, there are several techniques that we can use. To, right? There are a range of customer extension techniques for CRM that are particularly important to online retailers, particularly important to online retailers. So now we are going to take a look at those things. Right. So first take a minute to carefully read what these techniques are. Take a minute and carefully read them. Sorry, uh, sorry, no, the sharing. Yeah, here it is. Take a minute and read them. Right. So based on this, based on this, you may also be able to come up with uh, examples of uh, how you were a part of these techniques, how you were a subject to these techniques, different techniques. First, we have resell. Resell means selling similar products to existing customers, similar products to existing customers. Right. Particularly important in some B2B contexts as rebuys or modified rebuys, right? In what sort of situations have you experienced where you have been sold similar products? You are already a customer. Similar products are being sold to you again and again. Can you tell me an example? Yeah, reselling example. Okay, so someone says for items. Okay, in, in what, what kind of situations have you experienced it? What kind of situations? Yeah. Mm. Right now, uh, basically, basically, when you when you visit, uh, 
any type of web page which sells online right what what do they try to do what do they try to do they try to sell similar products uh, uh keep reselling similar products to you right recommended products are offered to you right recommended products are offered and they try to uh offer modified versions of products similar products to what you already bought right you you get recommendations right product reselling happens very often right and the web pages are also customized to show you uh, very similar nature products isn't it so you have experienced it a lot right reselling reselling to existing customers selling products that are similar to the uh, past purchases of the customers very similar products ne then go along with alibaba or dara so we are ever not alibaba aliexpress no aliexpress daras then let's say uh, even things like kapruka or even uh, ebay right so it happens a lot right selling similar products then we come to cross selling cross selling mokadda metana wenne sell additional products which may be closely related to the original purchase additional products but closely related to the original purchase yeah can you give me an example for this one ogolangatta product ekata closely related to the product ekak walata vikunanna hadana now in the online context right yeah so someone says when you are when you are buying a toothpaste you are being suggested a toothbrush right additional products which may be closely related to the original purchase if we think of something like this now um someone is purchasing a camera right someone is purchasing a camera but they are also suggested to buy a memory card right or someone is buying a vehicle um then something related to the usage of the vehicle we are trying to uh, sell to them right let's say a uh, booking of air flight but related to that sometimes accommodation sometimes uh, itinerary uh, planning or something like that right or sometimes um Uh, you know things like that cross selling right additional products which are closely related to the original purchase right then up selling up selling what happens in up selling up selling is a sales technique aimed at persuading customers to purchase a more expensive upgraded or premium version of the chosen item tamang choose karana item meke thawa idat wada expensive idat wada upgrade wecha ehema nattam premium version ekak ganna customer wa encourage kiriyamak tama upselling wala di wenne right or other add ons for the purpose of making a large sale ehema nattam api karana purchase ekata thawa add ons ekata thawa मेदे एड कर मेदे तो आना पावच मेदे इन दिखाई right so if you buy this it will be more beneficial to you it has more features yes what kind of situations okay someone says mobile phones okay 
other other examples any other examples yeah maybe uh, you you are having the mind to buy something else but uh, you know by telling you that uh, the latest version of the mobile phone has more features has more you know memory the camera is better the display is better the size is convenient right so likewise by by uh, persuading you to go for a higher sale right what else what else in what kind of situations have you been upsold now uh, think of situations like this then all the software as pavichi karana ne ek api thuma photo editing walata ehema naththam api hitamu video editing wage deekata ehema naththam you know e wage tool software as ogalan pavichi karana ne ne e wage dewal wala di ogalanta natha samata api thuma music mona hari music to listen to music online things like that uh or to edit uh, some sort of uh, documents you may be using so e wage e wage ogulanta therila thiyenawada premium versions kela wenama thiyena you are using the using the basic version to which you don't have to pay but also there's a premium version right so when you're trying to download the software you are provided with these options right but in those they are showing you that those premium versions or the paid versions they are having more features than the basic versions that are using ne ehema nattam api thama kola den gana photo ekak edit kara kara innoy software ekak pavichi karala hari nattam akari online tool ekak pavichi karala but when you are trying to use some features when you are trying to use some um features uh those features are locked right or to photo ek edit karanna one samahara features tools e oya gawa thiyena version ekedi lock wela thiyen eka use karanna denne ne ayi ek use karanna denne natte because you are using the basic version if you want to use it they are encouraging you ah okay if you want to edit in this way then the better graphics are in the premium version if you really want it you will have to download it එතන මොකක්ද මේ වෙන්නේ ඔයාට මෝ එක්ස්පෙන්සිව් එකකට යන්න එහෙම නැත්නම් අප්ග්‍රේඩ් එකකට යන්න ඔයාව එන්කරේජ් කරනවා නේ අපි හිතමු හොටෙල් එකකට යනවා කියලා එතකොට ඔයාව මේ මේ මේකත් හොඳයි හැබැයි අපි මේ පැකේජ් එකේ අපි මොනවද ලෙට්ස් සේ දිස් හැස් අ බෙටර් විව් දැන් දි අදර් වන් ඇන්ඩ් දිස් ඉස් මෝ ස්පේෂස් දිස් පර්ටිකියුලර් සුයිට් ඉස් මෝ ස්පේෂස් ඇන්ඩ් ඔල්සෝ ඉට්ස් මෝ කම්ෆර්ටබල් and uh, we are having room service all the time uh, at at your hands distance uh, very quickly assigned to your room only personal right so like what they are trying to upsell right so upselling happens a lot in our day to day lives as well right so we tend to uh, get ourselves accustomed to the higher more expensive or the upgraded version because of the upselling techniques followed by the uh, sales staff right in especially even in online context also in the traditional context right then um reactivation reactivation mokada reactivation ekey thiyanne balanna customers who have not purchased for some time or have lapsed can be encouraged to purchase again 